Hello, I am King Mac, and I like to thank you all for watching this future presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger with some french fries and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. What's up, people? Tony here, and welcome back to more TT Burger Game Reviews here on YouTube. As we are continuing Flying Game Month here, and this is episode 185. It's another multiple review here, episode 185, part 1 of 2. Getting closer and closer to episode 200. Just 15 more episodes to go, and we'll be, and we'll, and we'll be, be there in no time for sure. But we have lots to talk about here, so let's get started. Before I get started, I did want to give shoutouts to Free Green HD and Sub Zero I'm an expert for King Mac. You guys are also keeping up the good work. And today we're going to be looking at at a at a, at a, at a game franchise developed by the company Signosis, who, who are known for developing series like um, Colony Wars and and more and more stuff and, and, and stuff as well. But like um today, what we're going to be doing for this series, we're going to be looking at a series where you pilot a DASA Camov gunship, like a, a helicopter, futuristic helicopter copter gunship here. Which takes place in the future of the, of the year 2097, and I want to give a shout out to my buddy Razorblade1812, who is a fan of this of this series. So credit goes to you, buddy. You're awesome. Keep up the good work. And that series we're talking about today is the G Police series. Like initially, this will be in two parts. Part one, we're gonna look at the original G Police, and part two, G Police Weapons of Justice. I have lots to talk about here. Let's get started talking about G Police. Released on the PlayStation and the PC on uh, September 30th, 1997. I like the PlayStation version, the only version I have. Now, I really like G-Police. This is a favorite of mine for sure that should not be overlooked. G-Police is place's gameplay feels very similar to the games Descent and Colony Wars on the PlayStation, PC, and more. But, they made it even better in my, uh, in, in my opinion so that when it comes to like, Descent and stuff. I mean, sure, Descent and Descent Maximum were fun, but I like G-Police better. Not without its flaws, though, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But, let, let's continue here. The story of G-Police takes place in the year 2097. A corporate war has broken out in 2085. Many have died, even members of the G-Police have died as well, and many casualties have been taken due to this corporate war and other things. You play as Jack Slater, who joined the G-Police to avenge his sister Elaine Slater's death after she died unexpectedly and no way of knowing how she died. G-Police many many can consist of vets who have retired and, and, and from the war and more and have, have nothing else to do with their lives, and Jack Slater talks about how it was like and why he joined. He wants to find out why and how Elaine died, and he'll do whatever it takes to find out the truth. And I really, really like the story here. The story for me feels very deep, kind of has, has that Wing Commander feel to it along with the uh, Cali Wars feel to it as well, combined all in one. The story is mostly told, told through, through pre-rendered cutscenes and, and mission breaking scenes as well, which, which definitely look great, but we'll talk about that actually right now, and this is one of my favorite stories overall in a video game of all time. For the presentation, we have excellent graphics for Game Leaks in 1997 that still stand up well to this day. Great great look look looking vehicles and background, especially your Camov mob mouth that I like, like the G Please Please Camov mob model look looks awesome. And the backgrounds have a lot of detail to deal to them, them along with the weapon effects, they're all kick asses too, and the frame rate is smooth. Like I mentioned, the cutscenes are very well rendered and well done. Only problem is the lighting. The lighting is very poor. It's dark where you can't see well because a lot of, a lot of levels take place at night, but still, it would be it would be, be, be better if you could see what the hell you're doing, especially if you're playing on a, on a flat screen TV. There's no way to turn the brightness up, so you're stuck with, the, with this dark setting, and, and flying around in the dark with not being able to see anything is not that much fun. But overall, great graphics for the most part, aside from the lighting. For sound, I gotta say, great sound. The voice setting is really good, some of the best on the PlayStation, especially um, Slater's voice actor, he does a good job. And the music is kick-ass techno tracks that, uh, that, 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 that loop in when the action's getting, getting hot and you're about to chase somebody and stuff. That's all I need to say about the sound. That's all I gotta say. Gameplay, fun game, very fun, with problems I have with it. 
For stars, it's a futuristic flight combat game where you are the G police and you're, for your pilot piloting the, the, the DAA as a camouflage gunship. The missions are simple. You complete objectives by taking out targets or protecting a target or scanning ning, 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 like like targets to try and try, try and find find the enemy and stuff or helping your comrades and more. You have an abundance of weapons to choose from, like your cannon, your missiles, your rockets, homing missiles and stuff, and different types of homing missiles and more. Feeling like you're in control of the Kamov gunship, piloting, piloting this future flying police vehicle is badass. And this game is on two discs as well. 35 missions will be enough to keep you busy, and completing the missions will make you feel feel satisfied and stuff as well. And you got secondary objectives that you can complete as well if you want like a higher score or so and stuff. But that's pretty much if you want to do that and stuff. Like, um, usually I just, I just, um, complete the primary objective and stuff like that because, like, it's just, sometimes you, you want to, you want to stay near, near, like, what you're doing so you don't die or anything. So I just, like, that, that's what I did there. But now we got the negatives. The difficulty is all over the place. Like, some of the enemies can be very overpowered, powered to that, like, like, the drones and everything like that. Even though you have regenerating health, it can be, be, a, be, a, be a, a difficult, a difficult told at walk at times there. The camera is not the best, like the first person, you have a, multiple bull cameras to choose from, the first person cockpit bit you is the best. They have a third person, person, person camera and like a, a top down camera and stuff. And usually I put the, put the game in the third person camera. With the third person camera perspective, it's hard to aim, which is ironic since it worked well in Colony Wars and such, but here it doesn't. Because the cam of my vehicle is so big and bulky and making it hard to see and making it hard to aim and stuff. The controls do take a little bit of time to get to get used to there, cause like, cause it's not gonna be like Soviet strike or whatever. We just just move forward. Here you gotta like like press certain certain button combinations like that to try and move and stuff. So it takes a time to use to, but it's it's not it's not a huge problem there. And of course, I mentioned the lighting and stuff as well. But overall, G Police is a fun game. It should not be overlooked. If you, if you want a game where you pilot a little cam off gunship, this is the way to go for sure. G Police gets an eight out of ten for me because of the problems I have with it. So it's a game that should not be overlooked. If you can find it, it's not it's not that, that hard to find. It's not it's not that expensive. So if you, you can find this game, it's definitely worth owning because being a member of the G Police is fucking awesome for sure. Definitely. And that's it for episode 185 part 1 of 2. Stay tuned because in, in episode 185 part 2, we're gonna look at the sequel, G Police Weapons of Justice. How does this game fare from its predecessor? Find out next, but all I gotta say, I'd like you to see here. Subscribe, like, comment down below, join my district group TT Burger Gamers United and my Facebook group TT Burger Gamers Group and my Facebook page called TT Burger 8. And also, stay tuned every Saturday we have a new episode of Burgers and Fries Game Talk with a Shake. I know they have not gone live yet, but I'm still trying to, try to iron out all the technical problems that they're trying to, to try and fix that there. But, but in the meantime, more episodes of TT Burger Burgers and Fries Game Talk with a Shake are working to continue. Now look out for that, which all I gotta say is Tony, peace now. Have a great day and see you all in my review of G-Police Weapons of Justice.